It began as a typical Thursday for Abdul Razak Gurna. But by lunchtime, he'd gone down in literary history. The 72-year-old Tanzanian being named the winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature, getting the news on the phone in his kitchen in Canterbury, England. And this man says, um, uh, hello, I am from the Swedish Academy. Uh, congratulations, you have won the Nobel Prize for literature. And I said, is this a prank? Shortly afterwards, the rest of the world knew as well. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2021 is awarded to the novelist Abdul Razak Gurna, born in Zanzibar, active in England, for his uncompromising and compassionate penetration of the effects of colonialism and the fates of the refugee in the gulf between cultures and continents. Some people walked, many drowned. Gurner is the first black African to win the Nobel Prize in Literature since 1986. He fled Zanzibar after an uprising in 1964, as citizens of Arab heritage like himself suffered persecution. Gurner arrived in England as an 18-year-old, going on to write 10 novels. His work has explored the continuing effects of colonialism on Africa and given a voice to the experience of refugees. There is a kind of meanness, I think, in this response to um, people who want to come from elsewhere to Europe. It's not like they're coming empty-handed or anything like that. It's not like they're coming saying, here's my begging bowl, please fill it. The Swedish Academy has promised to become less Western-centric as well as less male-oriented. Gurner's win follows two female prize winners in 2019 and 2020. His books, including Afterlives and the Booker shortlisted Paradise, were written as he worked as a professor at the University of Kent. Demand for them could now go through the roof. We don't have any more clue than anyone else who's going to win. And then when it's announced, people are excited and want to buy the books. There's often a shortage, so we have to be ready to order them in as soon as the announcement is made. Gurner's win breaks ground for African writing, although he's still in a small minority of non-Western literature laureates. The Swedish Academy has faced questions over the prevalence of Europeans and Americans in its previous choices and over the relevance of this 120-year-old prize in today's world. The sudden fame that has fallen on Abdul Razak Gurner in becoming the 2021 Nobel Laureate in Literature answers both of those questions, for this year at least. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm.